Okay, so welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be looking at something different. You know, last time we were talking about how to um, form the table of values and we're able to construct the table of values for y equals to x squared minus 2x minus 3. But today we're looking at something different. Now in the same neck question, the B part says using a scale of 2 cm to 1 unit on the x axis and 1 cm to 1 unit on the y axis, draw the graph of y equals to x squared minus 2x minus 3. Now I'm assuming that you already know where the x axis and the y axis are. So we're just going to move forward or maybe I should just say that the x axis uh, actually horizontal the y axis some vertical okay yeah on the graph well what we want to talk about in this video is scales now how, what do you understand by using a scale of two centimeter to one unit on the x axis so we'll be explaining two centimeter to one unit or any unit and the difference between that and one centimeter to one unit or any other unit so that's what we'll be doing in this video so uh, first of all I'm gonna show you a standard graph now for any WAG or NECO exam standard exam um, in this locality we have a standard graph that looks just like this I hope you can see it it looks exactly like this now in this graph um, and you don't see the full form but it has actually about 120 boxes um, square boxes and each of them is actually two centimeter um, by two centimeter um, so it, it's easier for you to be able to detect two uh, centimeter to one unit or two centimeter to any unit on a standard examination graph so uh, there are two ways actually you can find um, two centimeter to one unit so that's what we're starting with two centimeter to one unit now the two centimeter to one unit is actually defined in this way for x axis for the x axis which is going to be from um, a line from here to here or any point on the on the graph um, but it has to be horizontal now the first way you can find two centimeter is for you to actually count the number of lines in each box now each box in this graph contains about 10 lines uh, 10 lines now you can count 10 lines and you'll be able to get up to 2 cm on each box. Now let me give you a very straight example here. Now this, this is just a plain um, sketch or um, graph work here. Um, now this is the x-axis. So for this x-axis, you notice this is one unit and another unit makes it 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6. So for each um, of the 2 cm mark and the x axis you have one unit now if you count it I was talking about counting the lines inside the box for you to be able to know it's two centimeter if you count from here you know you have this bold line here so if you count from after the bone like start from here one two three four five now oh, you can't see that let me let me bring a bigger format of that now I was able to do something like this this is a bigger form of each of the box on the graph so now just assume that this is the two centimeter this is an enlarged form so just assume this is a two centimeter um, box in the graph so we'll just count it using this form so you see it very clearly you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now you can if you're with your graph you can count it also to see if it is correct but a standard graph always has ten lines if you count it inside the graph if you go this way it's ten if you go up it is ten so that's this. Now, if you count 10, you must stop at the 2 cm mark, and then you can put any of your units. Now, that is it. Another way you can do it is you can just simply use your ruler. Now, this is what you do. Now, since they say it's on the x axis, now if you have your ruler, I don't know if you'll be able to see this one I have here. Now, I doubt you'll be able to see it. But from here until this point, that's actually two centimeter. So since I say two centimeter to one unit on the x axis and the x axis on the horizontal line, so for every two centimeter mark you measure, you put one unit. You mark another two centimeter, you put another unit, and you know it's progressive. So it's one, two, three. So one unit and like that, 
and you con continue marking it out with every two centimeter mark. So that is it for two centimeter to one unit. It's the same thing if you have it on the y axis, two centimeter to one unit goes up. You can use your ruler to measure two centimeter to one unit. Now this one is not two centimeter to one unit. We're going to come back to this one very soon. So now two centimeter to one unit, you just measure it. You put one unit, you know, two centimeter, you put one unit and just like that. So it's about the same thing if you put it on the X and Y axis. What about one centimeter to one unit? Now that was a question. And one centimeter to one unit on the Y axis. So now plainly, plainly, if we bring back this graph here, I've already done exactly uh, one centimeter to one unit on the y-axis here the the point the difference between the two centimeter to one unit one centimeter to one unit um, scale on the graph uh, one centimeter to one is actually half of the two centimeter to one it's like it's like um, the unit is going to be at the middle of the two centimeter mark if you look at it so you can the easiest way is using your ruler so if you just measure from the points of um, the zero axis here the zero point here you just measure one centimeter then you put your units there your one units there it could be any unit it could be six units it could be seven units depending on what they ask you but using your ruler you'll be able to get one centimeter then you put your units i think i think that's just the easiest way then if you have another point here another one centimeter you put your unit and another one centimeter you put your unit and up and up you go with your one centimeter to one unit uh, that's the same thing if you notice if another way you know i use the first method you count 10 lines for two centimeter but for um one centimeter you actually count five lines now this is this is an enlarged form of um, um the box in the graph so if you notice this one is the two centimeter mark which is not divided you know so this one is the five five um sorry this is the one centimeter one centimeter for each one so it's actually half of the um it costs through the two centimeter um box there so um for this one you count five lines one two three four five you get your one unit here this is one centimeter this is the enlarged form so you don't say we will not measure this and say this one centimeter i'm just bringing it out so that you can see it clearly so this is um five lines to get one unit another five lines you get one unit you do that in your graph instead of using ruler if you don't have a ruler so that is exactly how you do it for one centimeter to one unit two centimeter to one unit so don't confuse it don't confuse it you notice that uh, a centimeter is um the the scale for the graph the unit is just the, the the values you got from your table of values that you want to use to plot your graph so uh, the centimeter is where the position at which you put your, your units on the graph I think that's just it basically so just understand that for you can get your two centimeter by using your ruler you use your ruler measure if it is on the x-axis you measure the two centimeter you put your unit if it's on the y-axis you measure your two centimeter you put units you can do that same for the one centimeter um, for one unit on the x and y axis or you can use 10 lines for your standard graph you count 10 lines to get one uh, two centimeter for one unit or um, any unit, any unit at all, and just know that it's progressive. It's, if it is six units, that means it will be six here, then twelve here, then um, eighteen here, and on and on. So that's just it. That's just it. And notice that um, for um, I think uh, yeah, for one centimeter you count five lines. I think that's what we said before. Okay, so that is just it. The explanation for two centimeter, the scaling factor in a graph: two centimeter to one unit, one centimeter to one unit.